The Free State Project reached three quarters of its goal. Today's Saturday, October 26, 2013. One ounce of silver is $23, one Bitcoin is $178. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin and silver from friends of WeUseCoins.com and SonsOfLibertyMint.com. Trade in those pesky Federal Reserve notes for something that holds value. The fine silver quarters from the Sons of Liberty Mint are a perfect solution. That's Sons with a U. The most divisible, usable silver on the planet. Check them out for yourself. That's S-U-N-S. Sons. SonsOfLibertyMint.com Now for the news. Put a little money in Bitcoin. Those are the words of Michael Novogratz, the chief investment officer of a hedge fund worth $55 billion. Quote, come back in a few years and it's going to be worth a lot. He proudly says that he owns some Bitcoin. Do you? In other news, a man who's running for governor in Maryland was caught on camera at a college party where teenagers were drinking alcohol. The man, named Doug Gansler, used to be the attorney general in Maryland, meaning, like the attorney general in your state, he was responsible for prosecuting hundreds or thousands of people, most of them for crimes that don't involve any victims, such as underage drinking. As attorney general, he not only produced a video discouraging underage drinking, he also argued in court for those who drank underage to be fined and jailed. He claims he was at the college party only for a few minutes to speak with his son. He said it wasn't his responsibility. And in the photographs that surfaced online, Doug can be seen using his cell phone to record the dancing college students. Is this a man you trust with political power? In other news, Glenn Morgan of the Freedom Foundation writes that Seattle's city council voted unanimously Monday to steal private property from the 103-year-old rightful owner. In a bureaucratic justification for theft called eminent domain, the bureaucrats grant themselves the right to take private property from individuals if it's in the public interest. Whether or not it's in the public interest is up to the bureaucrats. In this case, they said they must seize the property, which is currently being used as a private parking lot, in order to turn it into a parking lot for bureaucrats. You can read the shocking documents for yourself in this episode's show notes at peacenewsnow.com. In other news, a Hooters waitress was fired for wearing bleached highlights in her hair. She claims the owner is being prejudiced for firing the waitress based on aesthetics. But... Isn't the whole concept of the Hooters restaurant built on the server's appearance? Is that not made clear to everyone who works there? Shouldn't the employer choose what image he or she wants to pay for? They may be stupid and bigoted, but shouldn't employers have the right to make dumb and unpopular choices? Share your thoughts on the Peace News Now Facebook page. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet at blockchain.info. Ian Freeman writes at freekeen.com, quote, Control freaks in New Hampshire, beware. The free staters are coming. Well, some of us, over 1,400, are already here, but we're the early movers. The best part is yet to come. The goal of the Free State Project is to get 20,000 people to pledge to move to New Hampshire and get active to help achieve liberty in our lifetime. Today, that goal is closer than ever, with the FSP eclipsing 15,000 signers. We're now over 75% of the way there. Once 20,000 is reached, the official move period will begin, where the thousands of signers will have five years to pick up their lives and move to the Shire. If you love liberty and are willing to do something about it, you can be a part of the most exciting and successful liberty movement out there. Please join the Free State Project today and start planning your move to New Hampshire. Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com and SonsOfLibertyMint.com. Share this episode with your friends, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J. reminding you that peace is the way. <laughs>